Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of the August Witch's Moon, and I'm super excited. Um, I decided to come out today because it's a beautiful day out here, and the items in here are just like really, like, forced me to come outside <laughs> because they are so beautiful. So let's take a look at what is inside the Witch's Moon box this month. So the Witch's Moon always writes down all the items that are in the box and there's always an explanation and uh, different magical ways that you could work with these tools. Um, of course, you are not bound to do them that way. You know, they do have a little disclaimer saying, you know, you, you are the magical practitioner. You use your tools um, how you wish to use them in your practice. Um, so this particular month, uh, August 2019, was called the Witch's Guardian. It says, as practitioners, we focus on defensive rituals rather than turning our energy towards the subject of others that work to create conflict. The practice builds strength and allows us to break through the ego passed down from the wise witches and magicians. The art of protection spells and talismans provide a wealth of resources that guide us. In the month of August, we set our intentions on this very power, providing us with the ability to stand guarded and protected. The handcrafted items that are placed within this collection have taken a year to create and charge. Join us this very special month as we work with the powerful witch's guardian. So I, okay, so I, I know that there's a lot of, there's a, quite a, a few more subscription boxes than there were, you know, a few years ago. But, you know, I, you know, as lovely as those other subscription boxes are, I just, you know, I feel compelled to stick with the witch's moon because the tools really are, you know, they're, they're people who do work in the craft. And so they're tools that they use and, you know, they're, they're picked with intention. You can feel the magic coming from them, uh, or the energy, you know, so that you can use it in your magic. And it's just, you know, I just really love it. So anyway, let's look at the very first item. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is called the Solemn Protector Doll. This is this beautiful protector has been handmade from blue sage, ethically sourced from a reputable farm. Adorned with bark, this powerful doll has been fastened together solely to bridge you and your loved one's protection from all evil energy and beings, or sorry, bring you. Uh, also known as Grandmother Sage, Blue Sage carries a protective and cleansing energy, bringing peace of mind into the area it resides. Uh, so it does go on and it talks about, you know, of course you don't want to uh, burn the doll, um, but, you know, put it in a place that you wish to have protected, you know, possibly an entryway, you know, doorway, or if you come in through your garage, um, it says that you can also set up a little altar for it, you know, uh, give it offerings, uh, but give it a name, you know, and uh, just like, you know, when people have stuffed animals or other little dolls, you know, uh, we give them names and, and thus give them power, you know, to love us and protect us. And so uh, this little guy here would like to protect my home. And so I do have to go through a little maybe naming ceremony and, you know, uh, set up a little space for him to, to sit in my home, like maybe with, I don't know, maybe some LED candles, because obviously I don't want to light him on fire, but and a couple little stones I think would be nice. But this is just like, so rad. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that? You know, I could smell sage like strongly when I was opening the box and I was like, what is in here this month? Um, and of course there was little pieces of him flaking off. And so I was like, what is getting all over my counter? And I was like super excited. I was like, what is in here? So yeah. They also have the Solemn Protector Sage Doll Book of Shadows artwork. And it says that they've partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor the Sage Doll that is included within this collection. The sigils that are represented on this artwork were created with the intention of adding power and magic to your doll. Um, so it says you can you know, put this on your altar, you can you know, put this uh, in your Book of Shadows. I always love the artwork that comes in the Witch's Moon box. This is so cool. And of course, you know, obviously there's plastic on it. So, you know, you take the plastic off so it's not so shiny anymore. Um, it does have a piece of cardboard on the back um, so that you can, you know, maybe put it in a picture frame. You can put it in your altar. You can uh, take the paper off and, you know, put it into your book of shadows. So, you know, there is flexibility here. But 
I think that is so cool. And there are items that are specific to the Witch's Moon Box. Um, and then there are other items that they put in their moon market. So um, some things from the Witch's Moon Box might be there, but not all of the items. And we have this rad elemental besom pentacle plaque. It says that they've included this unique elemental besom pentacle plaque to bring additional protection into your sacred space. Um, it talks about uh, the elements of earth, air, wind, fire, and spirit, and how it coexists in this symbol. It talks about um, how the pentacle has come to be um, a protective uh, talisman, and also how the besoms here are for sweeping away, you know, so to speak, uh, negative energy. So it says that you can place it above doorways or wherever you would like an area to stay clear. And I was thinking of placing it above the doorway leading to my, um, the room that I have my altar in, but it's also considered like our office slash my creativity room and the library. <laughs> so it's like a room of many things. Uh, but you know, it, it is a very peaceful place and I would like to keep it protected. So I'm thinking maybe I will place it above the doorway there. But yeah, let me get in here because this is so rad. I was like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. There is also a hand rolled the Guardian Harvest Spell Candle. So it says they've hand rolled and charged this candle with the purpose of bringing protection to your home and harvest. This can include family and personal items that hold a special bond within your spirit. As you sit with the flame, focus only on the protective barrier that you wish to create. The purpose of this candle is to break through the ego, allowing yourself to let go of unwanted thoughts and emotions that you may have towards those that try to harm you. Um, so let's see, uh, it says this, uh, candle has been enchanted with frankincense oil and they've also included a special mixture of their bounty magical oil as well in here. Um, so yeah, there, there is a little, um, spell or mantra to, um, say aloud while you're working with this candle. I never really show it in my, my reviews just because I feel it is personal and, uh, I want to be in a sacred space <laughs> uh, when I use this and you know I have a whole little ritual that I do as I'm bringing in new items into my space so yeah I love this so much then we have the castaway magical anointing oil right away I was like yes please we have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of providing you with immediate relief from unwanted and negative energies it says the castaway oil is a great addition to your daily experience. Carry this oil with you throughout the day. When negative people or energy come near or starts to affect you, simply place a small amount on select chakra centers. So inside of here, they have um, uh, lavender, clove, myrrh, and cedarwood oils. And they've also included sage and lavender inside as well, uh, as well as a Lemurian quartz. So... Ah, take a look at that. I mean, who doesn't need a little something like that? I'm like, ooh, I, this might actually have to leave the house and be carried with me, um, you know, just in case. So that's the inside. Let me give it a little sniff. Okay, so yes, it does smell really woodsy, really earthy, um, but I actually, you know, it kind of smells like, um, hmm, like a particular type of cooking like my my mother used to do like when she was making chicken and I just felt really like with those ingredients um, I don't know like really protected I don't know if that makes sense like I'm protected in the kitchen <laughs> um, but yeah it smells protective you know I I don't know how else to describe it, but it does, and somehow they're really good with that. All right, and then we have the Maven Sacred Salt. Yes! Maven is an absolute time of celebration and excitement, a sacred time of thanksgiving. Maven provides us with the opportunity to share our gratitude to others, including showing gratitude for the prosperity and abundance you currently have. This time of celebration also comes with the practice of introspecting giving yourself sacred time to truly look at the blessings that have been provided to you. 
Um, and then it gives you like a few things that you could do while you are sinking into the aroma of this sacred salt. So you don't necessarily have to have a bathtub uh, to use this particular, you know, these bath salts. You know, it says that you can put it in a bowl of warm water and pour it over yourself in the shower. Uh, you can put it in a sachet, hang it from your shower head so that you get the smell of it. Uh, I like to pour a little bit of it on my shower floor. Um, and I have a little grate that like catches stuff so the stuff doesn't go down the drain. Um, and I just like to put my feet on the, the salt, you know, and I feel really cleansed and I feel like the energy goes through my feet and kind of through my body while I'm, I'm taking my shower. Uh, but inside of here, um, they have included uh, frankincense, chamomile, and myrrh oils, as well as yarrow and passion flower herbs, and a little bit of their Maven Celebration magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. So let's take a look inside here. Oh my goodness. Okay, a little sniff. Ooh, it smells like actually kind of spicy. Like, you know, woodsy, but spicy. Hmm, I like that. And that definitely goes along with the, you know, celebration feel. They've also included a piece of selenite desert rose with a little carrying bag, this cute little orange bag. It says carrying with it the properties of selenite the desert rose connects with spirit on a deep, clear level, even attracting its presence. The specific selenite desert roses are said to carry a spirit guardian within them, acting as a powerful protection talisman. This wonderful stone has the ability to heighten your self-confidence, allowing you to become more comfortable with who you are. This attribute helps us in connecting to our guides and ancestors on a deeper level, opening up a new level of understanding when signs and symbols are presented to us on our everyday path. Um, so yeah, it says you can put this on your altar, you can carry it in your pocket, you can put it in your purse or your, you know, wherever you, you would like to carry it. Uh, and they have a little affirmation as well. But yeah, I have, uh, I guess this is maybe like my sixth piece of like little desert rose and I like using them in, um, grids and I like putting them around the room and I feel like they're really helpful like that. We also have the Purification of Sage Incense. This powerful incense was included within this collection to ward off all forms of evil. As the smoke from the Purification of Sage Incense wafts through your surroundings, embrace the calm and peaceful energy that it provides and it smells so good, but I love the smell of sage. Well, I mean, my whole area, uh, sage grows wild, so my place like kind of smells like sage anyway, whether or not it's burning inside my home, it's like grows wild all around here. I also have the Witch's Sight Ritual Herb Tea with Muslim Bag. Yay! I, I love putting teas in here, by the way, and reusing these. It says this clarifying ritual herbal tea is made of chamomile and peppermint, created to break through the distraction uh, that is common, un, commonly unrested within our thoughts and spirit. As you sip this lovely blend during ritual or meditation, allow your stress to slowly slip away, carrying bringing clarity to your perspective. So um, I love this. This is, I mean, I always look forward to when I get tea <laughs> in my witch's moon box. And you only need, you know, a little bit. You don't have to dump the whole thing in your teacup, you know, because it is herbal tea. So you can, um, you don't have to use a ton. Um, so one of these will last me probably all month, if not more. So I'm Yay! I'm excited. I'm excited about all of this, by the way. I'm just going to reuse I'm excited because I'm excited. <laughs> we also have a couple of herbs. We have dev devil's nettle herb, uh, which is yarrow. And then we had, and I put a little note to myself up there. <laughs> and then we have bone set herb. Um, so yarrow is one of the most ancient medical plants. Um, used as far back as the time of ancient Egyptians and Greeks, known for a multitude of cures. Yarrow was a heavily relied upon herb for the physical aid. Used in our craft to bring forth positive people and energies, yarrow can also expel negative energies from a person or place. For bone set, this is a must-have protective herb to have in any witch's arsenal. Bone set has been used for many hundreds of years as the jinx remover. Bone set is often placed within mojo bags, created to ward off evil, as well as used on floor sweeps to clear out illness and negativity. I'm going to be using some of this bone set, by the way, because my dude is sick currently. And so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning with it, but how cool is that? 
Lastly, the Witch's Moon likes to meditate uh, on pulling us an oracle card or a tarot card of the month. And this particular particular oracle card from comes from the Divine Feather Messenger deck by Allison De Nicola, and the artist is David Schreier or Schreier. Um, so this was very pertinent, the starling. And on the back of every card, you have the feather of the bird that's on the other side. So I have the starling feather. And this card actually prompted me to get the deck, so now I have the deck. <laughs> um, but yeah, this made a lot of sense. It says, now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. Well, I'm going to be getting out into the world today. I'm actually going to my first rehearsal for the Romeo and Juliet opera that I'm in. So, hey! This moon also always includes a piece of blank parchment paper so that you can write down your intentions for the month. I always like to write them down. I have a whole ritual that I do to incorporate my new tools and things like that. Um, and then I take the intentions of last month and I burn them. So that they're out into the universe. But yeah, that's it. That is everything that was in the August Witch's Moon called the Witch's Guardian. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know if you subscribe to this box or maybe you don't subscribe to the box, but you have comments or questions. Um, and this by no way I, am I telling people that they need to have this because you know a a witch uses his or her surroundings you know you use what's on hand you use what's available to you um, you know I feel very grateful that I am in a place in my life where I am able to afford something like this where I can you know um, have these beautiful tools you know in the mail once a month and I think that's fabulous uh, but that you know having these or not having these doesn't make you a witch you know it's um it's basically it's it's who you know what you are on the inside and you know it's us utilizing your environment and what's on hand but anyway this could also be ideas on things that maybe you do have you know around the house or things that you would like to make for yourself i think that'd be totally cool as well so uh, yeah, if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading for me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Um, and if you head over to my Etsy shop, which there is a link through my website, you can get my Wally's World Oracle that I created, um, as well as there are different types of readings over there, but they're also on my website. <laughs> but uh, I have my, actually my first ever beauty salve that I created using the roses that are just off camera in my garden here. So that was pretty freaking cool. Uh, and uh, healing salves using uh, bits of herbs from around my garden too. And bracelets and all kinds of goodies. So definitely go check that out. It's etsy.com slash shop slash kittens weights tarot. And if you want to give a little back and uh, show a little love, you can join that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens weights and tarot. And I have lots of free goodies for you guys. So weekly readings and monthly crystal grids, monthly live chats. I have healings, um, uh, spirit communication. There's a lot of good stuff over there. So definitely check it out. And I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.